Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and to this series of building the P51B with RC conversion. Plodding along here slowly because as you know it's, it's not as easy as one thought at the beginning. What I've been up to now, I've been building the tail surfaces um, and I've reinforced them. Like on the plan, it's a rubber powered model plan, right? So on the plan I've just, uh, there were just some I don't know what these are called, uh, they're not ribs, but they would be the equivalent of ribs and I've put in a little bo bit more strengthening both on the stabilizer, stabilizer, stabilizer and the elevators um, for strength because that might be needed if it ever flies and goes fast and crashes, right? So, so that's kind of built in. On this side I've put, uh, I've put some planking in here so that I can fix a, a hinge to it. I typically put the hinge of the for the elevator on the left, then I remember that right is rudder, right rudder, right rudder always, so on the left. And now the question that I have for myself is actually where to put the hinges. There are, there are a lot of options for hinges and I've used multiple types. Um, the ones that I've been using lately are these very small, I think the material is called mylar, I'm not sure. They're actually big and then I cut them, I cut them small um, and then I would put maybe two on each side. Um, there's, an also, there's also the option of using fishing line, which is also good, especially for small models, and just glue them in with CA. And uh, I've also been toying around with the idea of making kind of a, a long hinge and kind of scale model, like have connectors uh, that go into the other surface and somehow like that. But I think that's going to be too complicated. So, but, but what I have to be careful of in this case is that if I put, I don't know if you can see it, if I, if I put the hinge here or the connector, the connector of the two elevators here, when it goes up and down it's going to need a gap to go both up, both up and down and that's actually going to mean that I need to cut this piece. Right, so what I'm thinking, I'm going to use this wire to connect these two pieces, the two elevators and uh, what I need to do, I need to put it probably right close to the stabilizer part so that it just pivots on this. This will also serve as a hinge. I have to bend it, right? I have to somehow dig in and bend it. Um, and then put other hinges, then maybe just one on each side. If this is a working hinge, then I may, might not need so many hinges on the outside. I'm just thinking out loud now. Uh, but it has to be as accurate as possible that it doesn't actually need the, the big gap to move up and down. So that's kind of the, the brain toy these last days. Uh, to do it and uh, I think I won't do it actually yet because first of all I need to take it off the plank and things I have to figure it out the how I did it and I don't know if you can see it it's still one single piece and then I'll be cutting this off then to separate the the elevators and then sanding down to shape uh, and then building up the the hinge parts and then eventually also then the tissue covering which will be tissue and then I have to figure out also what color it will be that's also another one then as for the rest of the of the build, still no progress, but let me pick you up a little bit. So then the next step is going to be to continue with the wing. It's the same as it was, I haven't touched it. Um, so the next step is going to be to put it down onto the plan and start to uh, probably fix it, fix the spar down, put the ribs on, put in the trailing edge because that's what is kind of flat. And once that it's done, is done, then put the uh, the leading edge on and then the leading edge goes into pieces and then it will be sanding down to shape so still quite a lot of of uh, working with the wood which is the fun part what i probably enjoy the most and um, i'll keep you posted let's see how this one ends up and time for a bit of an update so here is the stabilizer and elevator i've hinged it already i haven't actually glued them in place the um, the elevators but i have glued in here this wire to connect both elevators and kind of happy how that is going along like it's it's quite accurate maybe not to the millimeter but quite accurate so I'm happy about that still a little bit worried that it is very really very very then you can see it very thin right so with other models they actually even the, the elevator had a bit of a profile on the well, kind of the ribs had profile so but this one is going to be very very thin the the there is the reinforcements I've put in here, I think they do help. Um, let's see how that goes if it if it flies somehow. No? So the next step on this will be to put the tissue. I'm still not completely decided on the final design. 
I think I'm going to go with just tissue for color. I'm not going to spray paint or anything because I'm not so good at it. Not like Skippy who's a master on that. So I'm thinking I'm going to go probably with a drab green on top and kind of grayish on the on the bottom and leave it like that. I think I have seen some some pictures of some of the of the early P51s in that that livery. So that's for the elevator and then for the let's see and we'll try to move you along. Let's see if I can so for the wing, what I've, what I've got here now, I've assembled it all together. Quite a lot of work actually, so I've, I've clip, clipped the, the leading part of the, of the ribs. As you, as you might remember on the, on the plan actually, it's just like a 1mm, 2mm bolsa sheet as a, as a pointed edge. But I think it was Joe that was pointing out that that is not good. That, that, that means that the, there's going to be much more stalling. It's going to stall. It's going to be more prone to stalling than if I have a proper leading edge. So I've I've changed that. Um, I fixed actually the rear part of the ribs, and again a lot of adaptation there to the trailing edge. I've done that first, and then once that was in place, then I worked in the the leading edge. I don't know if you can see it, but here there's a little piece of bolsa keeping it up, um, and I need to keep this one because I have to use the same for the other side uh, to make sure that it's somehow in the middle of the rib. So the next step. And I have some done some notches where needed. This one, for example, I probably clipped the rib too much. It would have been better to have a little bit of a notch going into the onto the leading edge. But it's pretty much touching almost, so I think I can fill it in with glue. So the next step is, as usual, to take it all apart and then put it back together again. Right? That's what we we kind of like doing. So um, that will be then the the next step. And once that is done, then the wing will be almost ready still the leading edge will be missing or that sorry the wingtip will be will be missing um, so I also have to build that thing somehow carve the the leading edge to shape and then with that then the the wing is is almost ready I still need to decide also where I'm going to put the ailerons I think I had decided already it's going to go up to this part up so quite a big aileron for more controls and I have to make the holes and the, the provisions let's say for the for the mini servo so probably before I glue it I'll have to make holes into these ribs so that I can put the the cables through for the for the mini servos that I have here so um, I mustn't get too too enthusiastic about building and gluing because there's still a little bit to do here so hopefully in the next update it's kind of done and then I can I can close this off and let me try to wrap up this video with at least some progress so the the wing structure is here um, it, putting both sides together, I'd say it does one side, right, but it doesn't completely fit. As you can see, the leading edge is not quite straight and the trailing edge is even more horrible, right? So, um, I had the feeling that the right wing was a bit like crooked forward for some reason. Uh, maybe I was pushing too much on the, on the ribs or maybe the space in between the ribs was, was too much. So, it was pushing somehow the, the spar forward. So then I forced it back in place somehow, like bending, and um, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little bit of a curve also on the on the spar. It's very very minimum, but it adds up. And then maybe some other some other issues. Maybe this leading edge is a bit more indented into the the ribs than this one. So anyhow, I think on the when once it's built. Because this central part will be covered by the fuselage, if I cover it up now with this for example, um, the difference is really very minimum. So I'm hoping that it's, it's going to be okay. Uh, still worried as always a little bit with angle of incidence, but uh, that I'm going to have to figure out also with, uh, with the carving. On one wing I have marked here where I intend to cut to create the ailerons. The ailerons are going to be relatively small but I'm hoping that good enough um, especially if it's a fast model <laughs> just thinking if it'll ever fly right but if it's a fly model then small aileron should be enough or if I should make them maybe even bigger but much bigger I have to think about it let's let's say it like that and then I have to draw also the same on the other side the next step is going to be to actually draw that out but also to carve the the leading edge sand things down and try to get it into a, a cleaner shape so the, the nice thing is that it already has this shape, the typical shape of the, of the Mustang where there's the leading edge and then somehow it goes into the fuselage at a different angle so, so it's starting to look like what it has to look like 
and uh, still quite a lot of work, especially carving and the ailerons. But then that I'll show the progress in some other upcoming video. As always, thank you everybody very much for watching and following along and I'll see you next time.